Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for Blender 2.6. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be using Blender 2.64. Uh, most of my tutorials lately have been uh, focused on add-ons and a lot of basic functions in Blender because I'm really uh, still learning uh, Blender. Um, so I thought it was time to start doing some modeling and this tutorial we will <clears throat> model this very basic um, axe and we're going to keep it low poly um, I'm going to do quite a few low poly uh, tutorials and we'll model some props uh, that may be could use be uh, I guess used in some games or or whatever and then uh, later on at some point uh, I will start doing getting into some subdivision modeling and uh, some UV mapping and uh, texturing and I also thought we would uh, incorporate GIMP into these tutorials uh, for setting up our reference images and also uh, texturing. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, here's the axe that we're going to model and we need a reference image and uh, so let's go into GIMP and uh, bring in our reference image and I just googled axe and I found this image and uh, so what we'll need to do is let's go ahead and uh, rotate it and so I went to uh, appear to image and then transform and let's rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise okay and then let's go ahead and use our crop tool and let's just go ahead <clears throat> and crop out this metal axe here you can find your uh, crop tool here on the properties panel and you'll just <clears throat> use it to uh, drag a rectangle selection around um, what you want to keep in your image and then if you notice you can uh, bring your your uh, cursor in here and then you you have these little uh, handles where you can refine your selection and then after you have uh, kind of refined your selection where you want it to be you can just uh, hit enter on your keyboard <clears throat> and there you have it uh, now let's just go ahead and go to file and export that out and uh, it is a JPEG and let's rename this um, we'll just call it X uh, underscore and we'll just say REF reference for short and we'll just export that out crank up the quality to 100 now we can just close this up and head over into blender okay let's go ahead and get started modeling our axe uh, let's create a new file and we will use the default cube um, I'm going to tap my in key and bring up uh, this in panel here and we need to um, 
choose uh, to load a background image and you can scroll down to back ground images and put a check mark in that box and then we'll go add image <clears throat> and then under the all views here we're going to click that and we want it to load in the front view and then we'll click open and navigate to our uh, reference image and axes and axe reference the one we just uh, you uh, created in GIMP and let's go to the front view and make sure you're in ortho orthographic view and there's our image uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, go back under our image there and scroll down to opacity and let's go ahead and crank that up to one to give us a full uh, opacity let's just go ahead and grab our cube and move it up here and I'm going to kind of start speeding up here let's go ahead and scale it to while we're in object mode to kind of uh, begin to fit our axe head a little bit here um, and you will notice how I am using the Pi menu add-on to navigate in uh, Blender uh, it, I do have a tutorial on, on that and a link in the uh, another video uh, about the pie menu add-on so if you notice that popping up uh, I'll put a link in the description to that video if you want to go get it um, so um, what am I gonna do here now uh, I'm going to tap the Z key and go to wireframe uh, tap my tab and go into edit mode and then I'm going to to we'll do some uh, point selection here and begin let's see refine our shape out here we don't want to go all the way to the end yet we're probably going to go to somewhere right here and you will see why here before long just start lining up your cube Okay, let's go ahead and spin around here and let's grab these points here and let's just scale them in on the Y direction a little bit to kind of start giving our axe head a little bit of a bevel. Now I'm going to use Control R to start making some loop cuts and let's see I think I want to bring the first one about here scale up uh, now this axe model is not going to be uh, we're not going to make it perfect uh, to this reference image we're just going to kind of take a creative license and just kind of uh, do our own thing here but it is always good to have some sort of reference image to kind of be begin to build your silhouette I just use the control R to create another edge loop here we'll just start tweaking our, uh, and adding some edges here uh, let's go ahead and create um, probably three around this way grab this point and this point and we'll just kind of begin to round this front side out I'm not going to bring it all the way out here yet but we do want to kind of build that curve in there and let's go ahead and do the same 
on the back here. I think maybe we want to grab this, bring it down just a bit maybe. I think that'll work. Let's go to our top view. And let's control R and create us a, a single loop right around here. Okay, and let's go back to solid. Let's go ahead and go to edge selection and grab these edges right here. Go back to front view. Let's go ahead and grab those edges and bring them out to about here. Wireframe. Select our vertices and let's start to line these up a little better here. Maybe grab these and pull them back and up maybe just a bit. Grab this, maybe pull it forward and down maybe. Mm. Tell you what, let's grab these verts here. We really should be using the mirror modifier to uh, so we don't have to go and select both edges, but I will <clears throat> incorporate that into a later tutorial. Kind of round that out there. That looks fine, I think. Uh, let's grab these points here. And I'm hiding the manipulator by using uh, control space. It's in the way just a little bit sometimes. Yeah, let's do the same. These points here. And maybe. Grab these edges and points. Maybe pull them down a little bit to kind of start giving us a little bit of around this like I say this is going to be a very low poly axe you can kind of see where we're going with this <clears throat> okay I think uh, let's try to pull these down a bit here and see what it looks like I like that a little bit better. Pull this front one back maybe just a bit. Pull this one down and back. Maybe this wants to come down just a bit here. All right, let's uh, go back to the sound view and let's select. Well, let's go back to front view. I think we want to add uh, another couple of loops here to start uh, preparing to model in our X handle here. So let's go Control R. And let's put a loop here on kind of on this side of the handle. Uh, control R, do another loop, and drag it to this edge of the handle. And solid. Okay, let's uh, go to face selection and grab those faces on top and bottom. And we want to use I on the keyboard to kind of inset that just a little bit. And 
and my skeleton just a tad, and that'll work. Okay, let's go to. I just switch to uh, perspective, and let's kind of. I want to. If you notice, we're. <clears throat> Where our handle's going to be is kind of blocky. So, let's see if we can go to the top view here. And, and switch back to the orthographic view here. And go to wireframe. And uh, point selection. And let's get that cursor out of the way. See if we can't. Go ahead and start rounding that that out some. Grab those. Mm, yeah, that'll work. Just drag it up a little bit. And grab these here. Drag those back. Now we can grab these metal ones here. Top and bottom. What do we need to do here? Let's see what happens if we scale them in. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Uh, no. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to scale those, but I do not want them to scale in the Z axis. So I'm going to scale, and then I'm going to shift Z. I think that'll do it. What we're trying to accomplish here is kind of. Uh, give a little bit more roundness. Let's maybe grab you know what I think we want to grab that loop there back to our wireframe and we're going to use the uh, edge slide and slide that back a bit towards the center of our handle yep I think that's what we want to do and maybe we can uh, faces maybe we can uh, use smooth vertex to kinda I don't know nope Uh, let's try tools. Let's try a circle and scale that in a little bit and scale it back up. Scale it in some more. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. That's a little bit more of the shape we want. And then we need to scale it out. Don't don't worry. We'll we'll, we'll fix that. And then uh, let's see. Let's deselect these top faces. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna use back down to my loop tools and we'll flatten that and maybe rotate in just a bit pull it up okay we'll do the same here maybe we should have uh, control plus and then flatten yeah that's what we want now we kind of got a little bit better shape for our axe handle. Uh, let's try changing our uh, hmm. 
No, that didn't work. Like I say, I am new to Blender, kind of, sort of. And, uh, wow, screwed that all up. Okay, let's just leave it like that and go back to our front view. And let's see where we're at as far as alignment. This should have been much easier than I'm making it, definitely. Uh, okay, let's grab these top faces here. And let's just extrude those up a little bit. And maybe one more time. Scale them in. And then grab uh, this top bird here and kind of pull it up a little bit. Kind of give us a fake uh, top here. And these points here, I definitely want to grab those. And we should grab one at a time. And let's just kind of grab those. And bring them in a bit to kind of round that out a little bit better because it was really uh, sharp round this side out a bit like I say this is a no poly model and we're only trying to build a silhouette here so Uh, maybe tweak your verts a little bit, kind of uh, round that top off a little bit more. Anyway, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and grab the bottom. And let's go ahead and grab those and go ahead and round this out a little bit more. We're probably not going to match our handle. Uh, real close but it'll be close enough for this tutorial now I'm just gonna extrude that out as you can see it it uh, let's see let's grab that bring it on down here and pull it this way just leave that there like that for now Let's see if we can't maybe grab this edge loop here. And maybe scale that. Yeah, that's that's somewhat better. Actually, I like that a lot better. That matches our our handle a little bit better. And now we definitely need some subdivisions in here. So, Control R. Oh, what I do here? Maybe I did something else. Yeah, I did. And bring us a one here, maybe. And then we'll just scale that and start to bring that into place. And that'll work. Let's see what it did. There it is. Let's drag this up. in that'll work and what you want to do is just go along here and begin to add your 
edge loops and just kind of move them into place. Doesn't have to be perfect to match your reference the uh, best you can and and uh, so that you can build a fairly accurate silhouette and this, we're running way way long on time as far as this video goes and uh, so I'm gonna kind of speed up a bit here and then finish the uh, bottom part of it so I think you have a pretty good idea of what's going on here this and rotate it around pulling in pull it down a bit rotating a little bit more skillet I don't work okay let's uh let's, let's grab these faces oops go back to our front view strewed those down uh, let's go ahead and scale them a bit rotate drag them this way a bit uh, grab these verts pull them on over here To drag them down just a bit. Grab this uh, point, pull it out, and let's see. Let's uh, grab these faces here and let's do an inset create another row of polygons there and then we can grab um, this edge loop here drag it up just a little bit to kind of add a little bit more of a bevel around this Grab these, pull them down a little bit, but uh, that ought to do it. Uh, you can continue to work on your axe and refine the shape and add some subdivision if you want to, but uh, that's about it. Uh, like I say, this uh, was intended to be a low poly, and uh, that's the way we kept it. I think it has 196 faces, so uh, that's not not too bad. So I just encourage you to uh, drive on. I've got you a pretty good starting point here, I think, and. As time goes on, I will continue to add more complexity and uh, create better modeling tutorials uh, for Blender uh, as I learn more and more. But you can, uh, after you're done there, you can just continue to tweak your, your axe and make it look more like you want but uh, anyway that's uh, low poly axe and uh, thank you for watching 
and hope to see you again soon.